Hi guys, Wholesome Mom Life here. This is my Kroger haul for the week of January 27th through February the 2nd, 2021. The deals were pretty good this week. I'm pretty happy with how it went. Uh, my total after coupons that I paid was $43 and then I got back, I think, about $11.50 on Ibotta. So that puts me at around like $32 or $33 for Kroger this week, which I think is pretty good. You will also see my Walmart haul later in this video. Let's get into it. Okay, the apples were $0.99 cents a pound. I only ordered three of them, but for some reason they gave me four. I had a $0.40 cent off of three mailer coupon. The Philadelphia cream cheese was on the mega sale for $1.49, and there's $0.75 cents back on each one on Ibotta. The Snuggles, great deal, money maker this week. They are $2.99 each, buy two, get one free, and then there's $2.50 back on Ibotta. I think the limit may be three or maybe it's five, I don't know, but that's a great deal. The Puffs are $0.99 cents on the mega sale, and there is a dollar off of four. I think it's an internet printable from coupons.com, so we got some of those, got four of those, as you can see. The Baby Carrots were just $0.99. Cents. 98 cents at Walmart, so I just decided to get them at Kroger. The avocados were 79 cents each. These are the small ones, and I had a 40 cent off of two mailer coupon. It says bulk avocados, so I don't know if that means the large ones, because they sell small and large. I don't know, but it went through. And then the bananas, they are actually cheaper to get at Kroger than Walmart. I think they're 49 cents a pound at Kroger. This was, um, it's an eight ounce bag of greens. Those were $2.79, which I think is a little ridiculous. Uh, the next thing I got was the Purdue um, chicken breast. I've never gotten these before. I hope they're not like chewy. These always kind of freak me out, but um, it's just a bag of the shortcuts for Purdue. They were on the mega sale for $2.49. I think I bought it has a dollar back on those. The Red Baron Pizza is a pretty good price. It's better than Walmart this week. It's $3.34 or $3 for $10, but you don't have to get three of them. Uh, the Ben & Jerry's are on the mega sale for $2.49. That was a substitute item. I hope that's good. I had a $1.50 off of two mailer coupon for those. The Captain Crunch was on the mega sale for $1.79, and I had a $0.75 cent internet printable from the coupons.com website. Okay, sorry guys, I have to do a voiceover because I kind of messed up what I was saying. You're going to see me pointing at random stuff, but just ignore that. I kind of left out my soda, which was a part of that $43. I, um, the, let's see, the Coke and Pepsi bottled sodas, I believe. The six-pack bottled sodas were on a 5 for $10 deal this week, so that's $2 for each six-pack, which is a great price. I um, did get five of those, but it is one you buy five only. So yeah, $43 for Kroger out of pocket, and then it got back, I think, $11.50 on Ibotta, so that brings my total down to about $32 or $33, and that's with tax included. So I think that's pretty good for Kroger this week. Here is my receipt. There are the Snuggle Boosters. It was buy two, get one free, as you can see. Then I got the Ben & Jerry's. That was $2.49 on the Mega Sale. The uh, Philadelphia Cream Cheese, that was $1.49 on the Mega Sale. Um, you're going to see this Big Soleil razor on there. It was $3.69. I tried to use my $4 digital, and it was attaching in the app, but it did not come off. So I had him take it off uh, before I officially checked out for pickup. So that's why you didn't see that in my haul. More Philadelphia cream cheese, some, let's see, those are the Gerber Puffs, more cream cheese, there's a Purdue chicken, and then the sodas that I got, the carrots, um, more soda, there's the salad mix, more soda, I still can't believe I paid that much for the salad mix, but that's okay, um, the Ben and Jerry's, the Captain Crunch, the pizza, and then the produce, and then the pickup was free, of course. So that total you're seeing there, I think it was like fifty dollars. That's before, um, that's before the coupons. So yeah, it was forty three after coupons. Okay, here is my Walmart haul. It was relatively small. Uh, the Wee yogurts were a dollar thirty four each, which is just a regular price. I think it's kind of high, but they're so yummy. Um, I had a dollar off of four. Uh, internet printable. There's also a paper coupon, and there's 25 cents back on each one on Ibotta. The plastic wrap was a dollar seventy-four, just great value brand. 
the parchment paper was $3.98, which I think is so expensive, but I needed it. Um, the milk was $2.78. The paper plates, the little ones, were $1.84. And then the larger ones were $3.48. So yeah, those are um, usually cheaper at great, at, um, great value at Walmart. But uh, I, you know, they're cheaper to get in bulk. I just, I can't, you know, afford the cabinet space right now. That steak meat you see was five twenty four on clearance, and that lean ground turkey was three thirty one on clearance. I am missing um, the French baguette that I got. It was the dollar regular price. I got it for sixty six cents on clearance. It was one of those like whole loaf, like sliced bread uh, things from the bakery. So yeah, sixty six cents on clearance. My total was twenty seven thirty nine before tax, and then twenty eight forty one after tax. I decided not to show my receipt this week because I had a gift on there. I just don't want to be seen. So yeah, $27.39. I don't think that is too bad. I did get some meat I stocked up on. So um, overall, not too bad this week on groceries since my total was around 32 or 33 at Kroger with Walmart included. I think I spent around $60 on groceries this week which really is not that bad. I am happy with that. Thanks for watching, guys.